Hey everybody, my name is Michael and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the iOS wireframe UI template. Now with this template you can very quickly build out prototypes and mockups. Some of the highlights include most standard iOS assets in a simplified look, really good for those, uh, those low fidelity prototypes, and smart organized artboards with vector objects that you can edit, you can do pretty much everything with it. Let's take a look at what you need. First of all, you need a copy of Photoshop, preferably CC15 or later, because we need that artboard support. And then you need this folder that you downloaded from applypixels.com. Inside the folder, you'll find the main template file and a readme file. Let me show you how to use this. Let's just go right ahead and open up the main template file. It looks something like this. And as you can see, it's a pretty big PSD file with a ton of artboards out here. Lots of different assets. Now you can think of this template as uh, a toolbox with a bunch of different assets in it. Basically a library of, of most of the standard iOS stuff that you can kind of pull out and you can apply them to your project. You'll notice that there's a whole slew of individual screens here, which is uh, depicting common screens on, on iOS. And you'll also notice that it doesn't exactly look like iOS. We've kind of made this, this simplified hybrid, uh, which uh, I think works really well when you do uh, mock-ups. You don't put too much in there. There's not a lot of visual design in there. It's more about the structure of the app. And let me show you how to use something like this. What you want to do is you want to create a new document. And let's try to create like a, a demo prototype app here, just to kind of show you how I use this template. What we need to do first is set up the artboard in another document. And you can do that simply by uh, copying one of these artboards here. And I'll just basically select it and drag it to my new document. There we go. And now we can start to work with this artboard. Let's rename the artboard to main. And let's remove some of these things, the settings table. And uh, let's say we wanted to create an app that's kind of like Instagram, right? A photo sharing app. Those are popular. Let's rename this to my photo app. It's gonna be the best app ever. I can definitely feel it. Maybe we want there to be a tap bar. That's pretty common. We can go and we can grab a tap bar right here from one of these other artboards. Just kind of take that and drag it in. Here we have a tap bar. Command T so that I can move the stuff around and place it there. And with Photoshop snapping tools and, and the way that when you drag objects into this artboard boundary, it automatically goes into that artboard. Those things combined just kind of gives this really quick and versatile tool where you can just kind of pull things around, snap to the right edges. So now we have a tap bar. That's cool. Let's get some content in here. We can kind of look around for some objects in the assets library of the template here. And we'll grab one of these little squares here and uh, pull that in. Hit Command T and scale it up. We need some interface icons. You can interact with it. Let's just imagine that this would be uh, an image and you could uh, drag in, uh, let's say the heart icon here. And maybe you can even comment on this thing too. Just grab some text. And all of the sizes, the, the widths, the fonts, they're all very close to what the, the regular iOS experience is like. They've, they've meticulously been crafted so that they're very close. So the jump from these very low fidelity prototypes to the real thing uh, isn't very big. It's, it's there and it's important that it's there, but it's not very big. Awesome photo. Maybe we want this middle tab here to be a camera. We have a bunch of different vector icons already bundled with the assets stuff that are very common throughout the platform. You can pull those in and add to your design. If you wanted to really communicate to your team that this is actually a picture, you could kind of drag in an icon and have it be like, this is actually a picture. Great. So that's the first screen on this photo app. It's, it's a screen with some content on it. What happens, I wonder, when you tap this button here? Well, that should probably take you to uh, a camera of some sorts. And when we look throughout the uh, assets that's bundled with this template, we'll find that there's actually a default camera artboard right here. And we can easily drag that in. And we're now slowly building out this prototype. Now imagine we wanted another artboard next to this. Adobe's made that really simple for us. We 
basically just click this little plus here and we get an artboard exactly the same size as the previous artboards. And this way you can kind of build out your interface. You'll continue to drag in all of these different objects. Maybe we need a keyboard. We'll kind of drag that in and just by dragging it into the artboard again within the boundaries of this artboard it's immediately moved into that artboard call this comments and maybe we want to take the nav bar from the main screen and we do that just by copying it over to the new artboard there it'll even actually place it in the same position as the previous one we'll take the status bar over as well and inside the comments we probably want to convey that there's going to be some sort of conversation in here uh, we have that right in the assets library as well again just dragging them into our document and dragging them in place placing them in the right artboard and then boom we have that there uh, and as you can see we're we're starting to sort of create this this little prototype that you would be able to share with your team or your clients. You'll be able to quickly build out this idea that you might have, whatever you're trying to communicate. These low fidelity prototypes are really good for stuff like that. And since all of this is vector, you can literally change any single thing that you want and later when it comes to actually creating sort of a visual language for, for this app, it's quite easy to go in and edit this and be like, okay, let's let's now add some color to this. It's gonna have like a, maybe a blue look. So that is essentially how you use this iOS wireframe template. Uh, you can think of it as your standard library of these low fidelity assets that you can drag into to artboards. It's a super versatile little tool and there is a lot of standard stuff in here and the stuff that are not here are easily made from the building blocks that are already here. We use this all the time as the first step when we're mocking up new apps or, or new ideas for existing apps. Um, it's just a great and versatile tool. And you can get this resource and other cool design resources by becoming a subscribing member at applypixels.com. I really hope this template helps you put together beautiful and versatile iOS wireframes. Thanks for watching.